I'm Jason Calabri with the Financial News, and today we're talking to a real Irishman and someone in the money business about what's going on in Ireland with the Celtic Tiger and the, 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 the banks are hurting so much, the downfall. What's, what's the story here? Do you, do you really want to know? I'd love to know. But I'll tell you, it's like what has happened all over the Western world for the last 20 or 30 years. Greed, greed, and more fucking greed, and cheap money. And in Ireland, it's a tragedy what happened to the Tiger. We have... Uh, I'd say four causes. We had a stupid fucking government uh, with a regulator that was asleep at the wheel. And we had uh, very deceitful and conniving and corrupt developers. And of course, above all, wanking fucking bankers. Wanking bankers. You have these assholes that for the last 20, 30 years are getting these massive bonuses, these employees and directors of banks on the misfortune of the working class and give these huge bonuses and salaries. But, you know, if you and all these assholes should be thrown in jail and the keys thrown away for the rest of their life. And you know, sir, if you went in and you're unemployed and you wanted to take a loaf of bread out of a uh, store or supermarket and feed your family, guess what? You'll be up in Courtford. These assholes are living all over the world now on the backs of the misfortunate working people. And who's going to pay for all this? We've mortgaged the next generation or two. Who's going to pay for it? The working man. We got the labourer, the small farmer, the fisherman, um, the nurse, the teacher, the policeman, the fireman, the plumber, the carpenter. For oh, sake, man, this is, this is a joke. So I'm sensing a, a wee bit of discontent? You are indeed, sir. By the way, let's not be too cocky in this part of the world, North America either. All these debts that people have accumulated over the last 30 years. Hey, hey, everybody get a sunshine. sunshine.